You win, Daphne. Not bad for a girl. Here's the prize. Hey, won't somebody help me? Get me down. Well, well, what do you think of the performance? Pretty dramatic start for us. Personally, I thought it was rather crude. Yeah, I bet you'd have screamed, though. Screamed your head off. <laughs> uh, told you. Well, that was a cracking idea. Anybody know any more? Oh, that would be lovely. No. I want more dancing. Right home, dancing it is, and some more bubbly. Watching that moon reflected in the waves and dangling my toes in the water. Would you like me to drive you there? No, I'll drive you. And can you drive? I drove an ambulance of the war for the last few months. You're not old enough. I lied. I told them I was 18. And how old were you? 15. I put on a lot of powder and rouge and looked absolutely ghastly. <laughs> well, can I? Well, if you promise to treat her very gently. Gently? This thing? She's a tiger. How much profit? Um, about a third. And retard the spark. Do you know how to do that? I know. Go on, you can swing her over now. Hey, you two. Where do you think you're going? Oh, uh, just for a spin. Going far? As far as we can. Land's End. What? Land's End? That's over a hundred miles. That's right. More like two. Two hundred. I don't think you're serious. Well, we not. are. Now, if you want to ride in a real car, <laughs> this vulgar red thing, yours? Mine. It would be. Leave yours standing. There's a lot of horses under there, you know. Mm, all muscle. No finesse. Jeffrey, challenge him to a race. We challenge you to a race. You're on. <laughs> Where to? Oh, I told you, to Land's End. Daphne. It's a hell of a way. Oh, so you're afraid your brand new car won't get you there then, are you? And back, non-stop, without so much as a hiccup. Well, then. I accept. Oh, well done, Billy. <laughs> well, I'll, uh, I'll just go and bid my guests goodbye. All right. Mm. This is a mad idea, Daphne. I know. That's why I like it. I don't think you're going to drive. Come on, let's go and get ready. I say, quiet, everybody. I say, this time, quiet. Oh, look, come on. Oh, look, come on. Let's shut up. Everybody, Billy has something to tell you. What's the matter? 
room gets wider here. I think I might have a shot at overtaking. Drop down there, that's what. Not a few yards, we've gone straight over it. Well, we didn't. And the handbrake is on, firmly. So will you now go and get that petrol? Look, can you be sure you know go what you're doing? Hurry up. All right. All right.
Not unless you can tell me where there's a garage or an inn. Nothing like that hereabouts. No. Well, then you can't help me. Told me there was no one up there. I didn't want you to go there. Who is up there? If you don't tell me, I'll have to find out. No! No! I'll hurt you. Get out of my way. You're trespassing. What is it you want here? But, but he attacked me. Who? Oh, he was there just a moment ago. You'd better come inside.
are you? My name's Daphne. Daphne Wills Hunter. You were walking on the moor? I was in a car. And your chauffeur? I was driving. By yourself? No, I had a passenger, but I've lost him. So you came here alone? Yes. What happened to your motor car? We ran out of petrol. Do you happen to have some here by any chance? No, I'm afraid I haven't. Where is your car now? On the moor. Oh, excuse me, but I've been driving all night. Uh, perhaps you'd like to rest for a little while. Oh, no, I couldn't impose on you like that. At least let me offer you some tea. That would be lovely. This young lady will be staying with us for a short time. Bring her some tea and then prepare a room. A room? This moorland fog is inclined to persist, sometimes for days. I have the tea. to keep this house rather warm. It's so used to the heat, you see. I expect your cold anyway. Yes, I hadn't quite realized how chill there was. Is this your wife, Mr. Lawrence? Yes, it is. She's beautiful. Shall I be meeting her? My wife is dead. I'm sorry. But when you said we, I, I assumed... I always think of us as still being together. But I meant the Aya, my housekeeper. Aya means nurse, doesn't it? Was she your little boy's nurse? Yes, she was. He's a very good-looking little boy. Is he as handsome now that he's grown up? I've no idea. Don't you see him? No. No, I don't see him. You get out. Judy, Judy. of mine, making violins. Do you play them? I mean, as well as make them? A little. Do you play well? <laughs> That's hardly for me to say. Well, you must know. Not as well as I should like, but yes, reasonably well. Are you fond of music? Yes, very.
Just You're very kind. Just too cold. Do you know how long you've been asleep? It must be nearly three hours. I now feel much better for it. Oh, my God. Billy. He went to get some petrol for the car. I'll be good. It's still bed in pocket. But I can't just leave him there. But Tom can go. My God. He knows the countryside. We're surrounded by marshes here. They can be very dangerous. But how will he know where to look? He'll know, believe me. Well, if you're sure. I am. If you'll excuse me, I'll go and tell him. You have no right here. This is personal to the men's staff. Good morning, Mr. Lawrence. We do not like strangers crying. Let me watch it. And then we try to make a gift drink. We will speak English in front of our guests. It was my fault. I couldn't have come. This is God's sanctuary. You are welcome. I've asked Tom to find your friend and bring him back here. Wappes Abbeheim. In English, please. He is back. Tom. Is Billy with him? Shall I send him in? Well, wasn't there, sir? Wasn't there? No sign. The motor car was there, all right, but not in. I told him to wait. I left a message on the windscreen. I found this on the driving seat. Oh. 
My prayers that brought her to us. Even it's clear. No, oh, beautifully clear. Are these the Himalayas? Yes, we could see them from our garden. Oh, how marvelous. I can't imagine why you left. The Maharaja of Thakur and his family. None of his wives, of course. He wouldn't allow them to be photographed. None of his wives? He had three of his three. Was very fond of women. He <laughs> must have been. The young man standing behind him, who's he? His eldest son. Very handsome. Just so. You didn't like him? He was depraved. Oh. I burst into him depraved. He corrupted my loved ones, first my wife and then my son. And after which he took her own life. How oh, terrible. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be so inquisitive, but... It must be very painful for you to talk about it. The pain is there, whether I talk about it or not. You're a clergyman. I was. Just thousands of devout believers, millions throughout the continent, worship as the Brahma, Shiva, Vishnu. See what they were willing to suffer in order to show their devotion. Now, this man has let the sun burn out his eyes just to please the will of his gods. And I thought it was surely, surely the truth must be there somewhere to inspire such devotion. And I found only filth and degradation. The young Maharaja introduced me to an esoteric faith of his own. Only a very select few were invited. I, I was flattered but ignorant of what it entailed. I even persuaded Harriet to become a follower. It was her they really wanted. And then, Simon. It was vile and obscene. Oh, dear God, forgive me. just as quickly as it disperses. You must wait until it's completely clear. The luncheon will be served shortly. Vegetarian, is I'm afraid. The ayah belongs to a Hindu sex and does not touch meat. I have learned to do that. In the meantime, if there's anything you require, The Mem Sab's bath is ready. We'll have our meal as soon as you've finished. The 
bath water will be getting cold. You want me to bath you? No. No, thank you. Do not be too long. Mr. Lawrence does not like to be kept waiting. How do I lock the door? There is no need. No one will come. I heard the music. How did Jesus live here? They were praying. That was the guy, sir. After what you told me, yes. I lost my faith when I felt like it was there.
you really are exhausted, my dear. Why don't you have a proper rest? Lie down in your room. Oh, I really must be going. The fog is thicker, it is. The room is ready now. Come along. No, I will help you. I'd rather not get undressed. Thank you. You will use this net. Pull it like this all the way round. This house is surrounded by mushrooms. There are many insects. Some of them dangerous. It is for your own good.
Oh, God. You say you're a relative? Well, he is. He was my brother. I'm afraid he's in a bit of a state. Not very pretty to look at. That's what happened to your young lady. I'm sorry. And you intend just to give up without a search? Who do the searching? I'm going to organize someone, farmers, locals, anyone. You wouldn't get anyone. Not to search out there. Well, I'm going to. Well, I can't stop you, sir, but uh, I wouldn't if I were you. And you won't help me? No, sir, I won't. I can't spare the time for one thing. And for another, you're frightened. That's right. I am. If you'll take my advice. Thank you. I will. I'm sorry about that. The day you there. Miss.
God, you thought you hit your head. Well, where am I anyway? With me. But where are you from? What am I doing here? You call me that. I'm sorry. You bumped your head on the rock. I lost my brother. Lost him. In a motor car accident. He was killed. I was nearly killed once. Leon. Yeah. Look, if you'd only let me out of here and back to the road, then I... No, miss. How long do you intend to keep me here? As long as I feel like it. And how long do you think it will be before someone comes looking for me? About your brother. I was with someone. A man. An army officer. I know. I saw him. He'll soon find me. He doesn't know you're here, though, does he? that you'll explain yourself. So finding your door open and being rather desperate for help, I'm afraid I just barged my way straight in. I'm sure you could do with a drink. I certainly could. Oh, do sit down. Just put all that stuff on the floor. Tall and blonde, wearing a cream coat with a white fur collar. Oh, and buttons like that? Yes, that's her. Oh, she was sitting in this chair a few hours ago. Right. God for that. She had a bunch of skirt from what she told me, but she was all right. Oh, perfectly. 
the young man with her was driving very badly, she said. Don't let us stay back. She may have been stopped and let her get out. Well, do you know where she went after she left here? It's Disney London. London? She's gone, my God, I put her onto the mountain bus. She would have caught the train from there. So your your search is over. Oh, I only wish it was. I still have to find Angela. I've got money. No, you haven't. I looked. When you were out. Unconscious. I do assure you, if any stranger, yet alone an attractive young woman, comes within five miles of this area, Tom knows about it and tells me. Now, my guess is that Angela caught the same bus into Moncton as... Daphne, was it? Can't imagine Angela catching a bus. Well, she had no alternative, I imagine. The people here about are very understanding. They would have advised her. So. Well, thank you, sir, for your hospitality. And for your help. Not at all. I'm sure both your young ladies are safe now. Why don't you be nice to me? How might I ask? We got the talking. You told her! Well, she wormed it out of me, Mr. Lawrence. She wormed it. You, you idiot! Sorry, Mr. Lawrence. I'm sure you are. Very well, bring her up here. You said no one saw her. Nobody, Mr. Lawrence. Go on, then. But she is not to be hurt. Do you understand?
man. Are you or are you not called Tom? Yes, that's better. And my car's stuck in a ditch. You come and give me a hand to have it out. Busy. Well, you're not too busy to spare me a few minutes, are you? I've got work to do. I see you're a soldier. What regiment? Why do you want to know? Oh, we might have served together. Very often. We could still have served in the same sector. I see you keep your browsers clean. Don't have it style hard, eh? Now, are you going to give me a hand, or do I have to go and fetch Mr. Lawrence? Thanks. I'll give you a lift back. I'd rather walk. Have you ever ridden in a car like this before? Yeah, lots of times. I understand you helped a friend of mine get the bus from here. Not me. A young lady? No. Look, just a minute, it's good explain. Did you or did you not help a young lady catch a bus from here? Yes, did it? Who told you I did? Mr. Lawrence. Why, it's a bit tricky, too. Thanks. <laughs> Nothing really. You're stuck good and fast, aren't you? You'll be there forever now. You'll sink deeper and deeper until your head goes under. Nobody comes this way. Ever. So don't think you're going to get saved. <laughs> Sir? Get me out, please. Yes, what? Well, they got something in my room, sir. 
what you mean. Oh, it cannot be human, can it? The, any human flag. Your man Rawlings, is he insane? I beg your pardon. He told me that there's a... What? That there's something in this house which feeds on human flesh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I'm afraid Rawlings is the victim of his own vivid imagination. And he's not the most intelligent of men. And you're not the first person to be taken in by his, his fantasies. And mind you, in all fairness, he, he believed in himself. Every word. Is it fair, Doc? Oh, so he mentioned his army life, did he? He never went near the front. He was the deserter. But he also told me that he didn't go with Daphne to the bus. Now, is that a fantasy? No, for once, I, I think he was telling the truth. Your friend was a very direct and independent young lady, if I may say so. I don't think she'd suffer fools gladly. No doubt he had a... Enough of Tom and went off on her own. Oh, that is only myself and that's a prayer. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! You 